Recording in progress. Welcome. of the sound awesome can you hear the music and myself yes welcome 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 into day three our final day inside of miracle maker masterclass i've never been that much proud and happy from a masterclass like i am from this one because it is life-changing so let's dive together into a beautiful energy alignment sit up straight with your spine up straight Take few very, very, very deep breaths that they move energy inside and around you. <sighs> and center yourself in this present moment in your sacred body. Breathing in, super deep and slow, in and out through your heart, around 10 seconds in, hold for a moment and 10 seconds out. connect with your divine presence, your divine genius that is already in your body, that ball of light at the bottom of your spine that spreads its energy to your feet and hands, and that ball of love inside of your chest and that ball of light at the top of your head. I was born worthy and nothing has changed. Feel the response of your heart when you repeat internally, I was born worthy and nothing has changed. I was born worthy and nothing has changed. And surrender deeper so all of your divine energies can do the work for you on your behalf manifesting the ease you feel in your heart creating the safety and security you choose to tap into in your root chakra building higher frequency, way of being, you understand in your crown chakra. Breathing in, the ease, Breathing in, your wish fulfilled.
I'm seeing deeper and deeper. tuning in with your wish fulfilled through your miracle maker abilities you are feeling sensing and have been activated within you and all around you for you and on your behalf expanding that energy field with your wish already fulfilled with your miracle already created spreading that energy field all around you until it grows to the size of your room beaming the gratitude from your heart and the love for life. And allow that energy field to grow and expand to the size of your whole home or a building you are in. And that property that building is on. Growing to the size of the town or village or city you are in and beyond and beyond and beyond until it reaches the size of the country and continent and the whole wide world. Hold this expanded and high fulfilled frequency. Hold the giant size of you and your abilities. And if you desire to grow beyond this planet, beyond this galaxy, beyond this universe and multiverse, there is no limits. Whenever you are ready, come back into the room, holding the attention in your heart and in your hands. Very gently open your eyes, but stay in the state and allow yourself to feel special energy in the inside of your palms. Maybe if you need to sense it, you need to stay with your eyes closed. So allow yourself to do so. There is a special energy that is now running inside of your palms. And if you want the activation, you can stick your hands to the screen. 
and receive your activation right now. And feel the gentle current of aliveness and your energy. Feeding and flowing through your heart in and out through the center of the bottom of your feet. And now place those hands on your heart. Welcome back. Welcome back. That was another type of an activation. <laughs> how did it felt? Let me know in the comments. Let me know how did it felt for you. What have you experienced? And I really want to know if you have actually practiced the yet again after the life breath work and meditation and whole activation that practice that we did yesterday. If someone of you practiced it on your own, let me know how that felt. And we're going to go right into the practices and the summary of the Miracle Maker. If you would ask me, Elisa, can you talk more about Miracle Maker? And oh my goodness, like give me a whole year. Let's sit up every single day for a whole year and we will keep on talking. And the probably I will still, oh, I'm so happy you loved it. Wow, that was beautiful. Thank you, Bavani. Thank you. I'm so happy for you. Uh, probably I would not run out of the subject at all at all there is just so much to talk about it so much science and studies to bring in but for the sake of us respecting the time we have together which is just three days let's say about an hour on each day uh, that's why everything is so compound so you get all of the information you know if you are of a more analytical type that you need more data, you need more information, you need more, go and study HeartMath Institute, go and study Dr. Joe Dispenza, go and study Greg Braden and every single video and book he has ever released. You will have so much more of that over there. Over here, what we have focused on is that special steps to take right away and that internal inventory to help you see that we spoke about in day one, to help you see the things that are in the way of you realizing, holy cow, I am a miracle maker. Like, like, holy cow, I could feel the energy flowing here. Oh my goodness, my heart is alive and it's beating faster and stronger and more, more, more with love than ever before. This is you stepping into your miracle maker abilities. So there is few practices I'm going to share with you. I have mastered in my day and in my morning that helped me go beyond what I what I thought was possible. So for me, that shift has happened somewhere around 2018 and 19. I've just, it was just simply my time. And I remember also the disconnect I felt from all other people around me. <laughs> I still chose to trust and believe that everything works for me the best case scenario. So that was way before 2020. That was way before that energy on the planet was so high that so many other people were shooting into that energy. For me, it happened with the call to go beyond this existence. And I I, I remember I, I bought a big, big bunch of money and I paid and I drove far away to Edinburgh to get a, a like a hypnosis session to see my other life, to see, to speak to my higher self. And that experience was just so profoundly impacting me and what I believe was possible. It just brought to the surface what we all know deep inside. We all know that stuff. So for me, the thing is that she didn't brought me back properly. I was not uh, grounded. I was not fully back in my body. Maybe I do believe it meant to be this way for me. I do believe I meant to walk for two weeks outside of my body. I do believe the divine took the best care of me and it happened what it happened, but it was scary. 
it was scary. And there will be moments on your journey where you are diving so deep and so big in this work that it's going to feel scary. It's going to feel like I can't connect with anyone. This is the most scary thing ever when there is nothing known in your life, in your mind, in your body, in your environment. And that's the moment that I'm going to encourage you to realize I am it. I am doing it. This is it. This is it. This is the part of the journey. It's okay to be in the unknown. It's okay to feel the fear and do it anyway. It's okay to go forth. If you don't feel this, what's going on? What's happening? Uh, oh my God, I don't. I cannot recognize myself. There needs to be a level up on how many actions you're taking and or not how many actions you're taking, the frequency you're taking them from and how deep they go, okay? This is the work I do a lot with one-on-one -on -one because every single person is different. Only with a one-on-one, -on -one, I can actually help you realize, do you actually need to take more actions or you need to take less actions and take them much deeper and from not energy of guilt and shame, but from an energy of love and grace. So for every single one of us is different. I specifically have... Uh, this is my superpower. I see things no one else see. It is Scorpio. It is projector 5-1, which is a double projector. I can see through the walls. Since I can remember, I can see through the depth of your gut and core. And I will tell you what energy you're operating from there, whether you're aware of it or not. I can tell you what is the thing that will make you money and not not that other thing. I just know. And this is my superpower. And every single person who worked with me closely and followed all of this, every single guidance right away, not with a month delay, not with three months delay, right away, they reaped the biggest benefits. So this is my superpower that I allowed myself to step into. What is your superpower? What is your special ability? What is your special ability that waits for you to look into it deeper and expand in it? Okay, so allow yourself to do the practices I will add loud to you and share with you in a moment, but simultaneously while you're doing them and you're stepping into the unknown and you're shedding the layers of the past out of your body, I want you to simultaneously expand on something you love the most to do and you are really good at it. Okay, you are a painter, you love to paint, go and paint. Go and, like crazy dance and paint like crazy like crazy you love to support other people allow yourself to sit with them and tell them how you have impacted them allow yourself to receive your own love and support and healing from yourself to yourself or from another healer especially if you're supporting other people i've spoke with so many women who are uh, uh, doing similar thing that I'm doing and they're absolutely blocked from receiving help and support and they come to me already in anxiety, already burning out, already and still blocked and still no no, no, I'm only too supposed to give to others, not not to myself and that's how I know that their business uh, is it's, it's just, just gonna go down, that's it, because their joy, their bliss is already done it's out and that's also okay. We all need our lessons. I reached my own personal rock bottom over nine years ago. You think I would be here without it? You think if I would choose an easier, softer way, I would be here with you? Heck no. Absolutely not. I would still be blaming my parents for how I think and feel. I would still be blaming my exes. I would still be living in my past. So the number one key for you to step into miracle maker frequency every single day is turning your past into your biggest wisdom. Your past is, it doesn't just hold, it is the key to your future. So the more you know about your past, yourself, how the old self comes in and takes you out of your alignment, how you are giving others more that you give to yourself. Example, okay, I'm just going to be shooting blind examples. Your past, how did you behave before the relationship, during the relationship, and after the relationship? And learning every single trait. Very, very, very helpful thing on my journey. I'm not saying go and do it, but Divine wants me to share it out loud. Codependence, recovery, and journey. 
Why? Because every single person in a whole wide world has a codependent traits. More or less, we all have them. I'm not saying you're codependent, but we all have codependent traits. And when we learn from them, we are able to turn the past into wisdom. So when you are waking up every single day, I want you to first spend the first between an hour, an hour and a half, two hours, just you. And I know it's going to be challenging if you have babies, if you have family to take care of, other things. You can make it maybe half an hour, but make it so potent. Wake up half an hour before your newborn, if it's possible. Make it so potent that that half an hour and what you're doing in that energy, in that sitting or in that movement, will carry you throughout the whole day. And then you will reconnect with that energy again throughout the day when your newborn is having a nap and then at the afternoon and then at the evening and you will fall asleep in the wish fulfilled. You truly can make anything and everything happen. How do I know this? Because of the examples I have watched and learned from and because of the stuff I have done myself. I've been in a different situation. I was living on my own. I had all of the house for myself. I could do dancing as loud, as crazy as I wanted to. I could meditate without much disruption, all I wanted. I had a different situation. That's why exactly divine called me to meditate for five hours a day. Not 30 minutes. If I would have babies, if I would have a husband or a wife, if I would have maybe uh, one of the parents under our roof and taking care of them in elderly age, maybe things would look different. But I was exactly where I was. And I learned how to master my energy and my time. If you desire to expand in the income you are creating, ask yourself how you are feeling about your current flow. How are you feeling about your current flow of money, prosperity, and resources? How resourceful are you right now with it? Now, one group of people, let's separate people by two group of people. I spoke about it recently. One group of people will be using their energy into saving up what they have and trying to find a way how to spend as little as it is possible. Another group of people will be training day and night into learning how to multiply what they have instead of spending as little as is possible, they will invest all of their time, money, and energy into learning how to multiply and make more. So that's two group of people. Nothing wrong with either or, but you can ask yourself when you are sitting down to your morning meditation, when you do the breath work, am I trying to save up my energy? Because that's going to be too exhausting for the rest of the day. Or am I going to invest everything I've got all of my focus, all of my attention, all of my resources, everything I've got. So this first an hour, two hour at the morning, I am flying. No more half-assing. I'm flying. You are disappearing through that breathwork and meditation, disappearing into pure nothing, no one, nowhere in no time. Pure I am, nothing else. And then you come back as the wish fulfilled. You come back as the miracle maker. I can do everything and anything. And then you carry that feeling, that emotion, that internal mantra throughout your whole day because you're already behaving as it happened. You don't take other actions to get what you desire. It already happened. So obviously you will continue taking actions from that energy. Now, I want to give you an example that I missed out on. Okay, let me know, guys, if that makes sense. By the way, I'm fasting again. Just like the first day, I was fasting until one, I believe, and during eclipse, and the energy did that with me. <laughs> it just did that with me. <laughs> but it was just such a profound experience. And Andrea is still fasting. She's on day, she's on day three, and she can barely walk. And she's just doing amazingly. I'm so proud of her. Yes, it all makes sense. Beautiful. Let me know which part that we spoke so far clicks the most. Go inside for one minute. One minute. Go inside for one minute. Self-regulate. Right away, inside, heart. What is the biggest boom, Shazam, from the last three days or from this moment?
and put that in the comments. Whatever came up for you. If nothing came up, that's okay. That's okay. And if you're watching this on repeat, put that in the comment section underneath the video. So I'm going to give you two examples. There was a period of around five years. It was longer, but I... It was longer than five years, but I just keep on saying five years, so it's five years. I think it was about... Well, it could be six. Um, doesn't matter. Let's say five years. Five years, I've had a desire... I'm not meant for nine to five. I'm meant to do this. I'm meant to create and share. I'm meant to turn my wisdom, my past into wisdom, and I'm meant to share with the world so they can bet. I just knew it. I'm made for more than just going to nine to five and pay my bills and pay that mortgage that is set up for two ages and trudge up the hill and down the hill when it's snow or ice and blah, blah, blah. Not that I wasn't grateful for it. I was beyond grateful beyond grateful i was oozing out with so much love and simultaneously i knew it that there is more that i'm called to do and be in this life in this chapter of my journey so i took actions that i took i posted videos on youtube later on i sat for six hours with my bank on the phone so they can approve my credit card payment for a course so i used money i didn't knew i had money I didn't have. I used my credit card to pay for, I don't remember, it was three or four or five thousand dollar cars that would help me learn how to make money online as a coach. It was three months. After that, <laughs> I didn't make a return of that investment. And that was also a giant lesson. So I did incredible things, but I was all over the place. The thing is that what I thought, the thing I want to share with you, I thought that after my wish is fulfilled, I'm putting my feet up. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> I'm laughing now because, because of the way I thought in the past. And then again, there is nothing wrong with it. Like, I know I see people manifesting that, but it is not my soul path. And I didn't knew that yet. My soul path is to put my feet up during, before, and after everything I'm doing. My soul path isn't to be on a go, go, go 24-7. I'm not generator. I'm not manifesting generator. I am a projector. I am to do very little, but in a smart way, okay? So my soul path is to create and do what I feel the flow and call, follow the guidance. And then as soon as I feel like I need some time with myself, with divine, with nature, all of it with my family, go and do that. Okay, so when I started changing how I see my wish fulfilled and it's no longer when it's done, then I don't have to do anything. That's the idea from the secret movie that people mistook, misunderstood a lot. The way I see the wish fulfilled right now is that I am in it. It already happened. Like I'm literally looking back. I'm literally physically looking back like, wow, I literally have a notion it's behind me. This is already fulfilled. This thing is already fulfilled. And that's why exactly, because I'm here for ever growth and ever expansion, that's why now I do even better actions from even a higher energy, but I still do them. It is no longer, oh, feet up, that's it, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> okay, so it's like, okay, now I want to take more of these smart and profound and potent actions so I'm still going to take actions, but the key is, is to not be in frequency. I got to go and get it. I got to get, do my meditation so I can get my miracle maker abilities. Do, do you understand? Do you see the difference? That's it. I don't want you ever, if there is anything you want to take out from this class, is to show up for yourself times million that you did so far. And number two, when you do that, don't do it from a place, I have to do it to get it. Do it from a place, I'm already it. I'm already worthy of the best relationship of my life because I chose to be in love frequency and I am in it. And I don't care if that special soul is by my side, in a spirit or in a physical body. 
it doesn't matter because I am it. I am that frequency. And when you're that frequency, the old stuff is going to come up. It's going to show you your demons, your shadows that doesn't belong. And it's your job to learn nervous system regulation and emotional intelligence to learn how to deal with it and release it because I am not it. And I'm staying in my feeling of the wish fulfilled. Not so I get what I want. Me means to end. Eckhart Tolle talks about it. But I am already the frequency of it. They were things in my life I manifested. I've shared recently, like going to New Mexico. We arrived in New Mexico on the desert. I dreamt about desert and mountains experience. I dreamt about it. We arrived there. Day three or four, I'm going for a walk. And I'm still searching what is that feeling. And then, I, and then I realized, oh my God, oh my God, I, I forgot. Oh my God, I forgot that it's not about manifesting something and then the feeling comes in. It's about being the feeling and then manifestation will happen. But you better hold on to staying in that feeling because that manifestation will happen and you're no longer tapping into that feeling of the wish fulfilled. That manifestation will not do it. It will not do it. That's why so many people, for example, like uh, the one uh, program, so many people who manifest their love of their life, it just goes away so fast. It's such a big reunion on soulmates and then all of a sudden goes away. Because the only thing they worked on, the only thing matters is to meet that person and they believe that thing will bring that feeling there. Andrea doesn't make me feel love. I make me feel love. I don't make Andrea feel love or in love. Andrea make Andrea feel in love. It's always from the inside out. Never, ever, ever the other way around. Always from the inside out. So the things I did that changed everything for me, the more body movement I implemented throughout the day, the faster I was releasing the, the old. So when I was doing breath work, but not like all everyone else, but when I was doing breath work, then I got, obviously, the results no one else did. When I was dancing at the morning, this way, like everyone else, <laughs> I didn't get the results. But when I was dancing like that, my face was all over the place, stuck to the wall, then stuck to the window, then on the ceiling, then upside down. Then my legs are up in the air and I'm twerking. Woo I get the results no one else did. And then when I went into meditation so deep and I felt the fear, there is no, go what if there is no going back? That's how deep I was in going in meditations. What if there is no going back? That's how deeply I surrendered in this present moment. If you want to do it, commit to at least, at least one hour every single morning and then 30, 45 minutes or an hour at the evening. At least, at least because you need that time to settle that stallion, that body that trained you to follow its wishes. Old mind became the body. So when you combine that breathwork and meditation we did, but then put another meditation after it and stay in this feeling like nothingness and then come back to the wishful feet. It already happened. You're already living as that person that already has this thing fulfilled. What then your life, your actions, your what then your meditation is going to look like. You're not going to all of a sudden stop meditating because you manifested your wishful field. You became it. It's not just, okay, let me just do now only 15 minute meditation to maintain what I created. No, that will go away. It will disappear. Does that make sense, guys? Once you level up, you don't level down because you manifested it. If you are a miracle maker, you are it now. There's going to be a moment in your time when you will realize, okay, now, okay, last year I needed three hours. Last year, yes, I needed three hours meditation. Now my life looks entirely different. I need one hour, okay? Things will change. Amazing, awesome, makes sense. What I just feel is the flow of I am able to create my own money. Exactly, exactly. Money is a form of an exchange. Money is a form of an exchange. It's exchange of the value you are providing to the world 
when you believe, holy cow, next masterclass should be on money. <laughs> when you are in that position and place of openness, I'm sharing my art, my beauty, my love with the world, and I'm open to receive the appreciation, but not because after they see me, how amazing I am, I appreciate myself. I'm doing absolutely amazing. Nothing is missing. Can I learn something more? Can I still up level? Yep, I'm open for it, but I've already have all it takes. And simultaneously, I'm up leveling. Okay, so uh, make sure your morning contains, I call it exaggerated actions. So do that breath work the way we did yesterday and keep on exaggerating it because your capacity is going to keep growing and that's exactly what we want. And there will be day there at the morning that you want to scream and shout and punch that pillow. <laughs> do it. Another time you will be laughing uncontrollably. Oh, ho, ho. do it. Do it, do it, do it. Feel the more you feel, the more you create in your life. If you can feel it all, you can have it all. If you can feel it all, you can have it all. That's all it is. So for me, example, morning fasting, it's just like, again, <laughs> you know what happens when you wash hand, hand wash and then you squeeze all the dirt comes out. Yeah. Yeah. It's challenging. A very, very challenging for me. And that's why I'm doing it. And I'm already planning to do tomorrow, but I'm not like saying, I'm not like scaring myself into it. I'm here and now. What does it feel like? Okay, now, now this is also what I want you to know. What I feel like when I do something that used to was impossible for me, for me, that's a miracle. I feel the discomfort and simultaneously, I feel the opening that is happening from my presence while I am with the discomfort. So I feel much wider and open capacity for the divine to flow through me. That's why you're experiencing what you're experiencing and we're connecting and we're flowing even higher together. And simultaneously I'm acknowledging it sucks. My belly's like, oh. the mind tells me, go and make a cacao. You don't have to wait, eat or you will die. All of the lies that it tells me for the last 40 years. Go and drink your favorite cacao. You're worthy. You're deserving of it. You don't have to lose weight. You don't have to do that. But I want to I wanna, I wanna feel different. I'm called to it. Okay, so there is na 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 And then there is all of the experience. And that's okay. I am not it. I am not that voice. I am not that discomfort. I am not the body, but it is my responsibility to follow how to take care of that body the guidance that comes from my heart. How is that landing, my loves? How is that landing in your heart? Yeah. What is it that your body, your higher intelligence in your cells, that is far beyond human comprehension, guides you to do? If you feel blocked, it's not going to be easy, but I'm going to tell you this. Over-educate yourself about water fasting. Mindy Pels, doctor. Oh, or find your doctor, your favorite doctor. I found quite a few different ones and she's the only one that it clicks for me. I even changed entirely the way I eat in the last six months. For six, seven years, I didn't eat many, many, many different foods. And then my body told me through the weakness in my joints, enough is enough. It doesn't work for you. Ideology against the biology. Eh -eh. And it was time to change and push myself. I had to force myself. I had to, I still can cry. I had to force myself to eat. But if not this, I wouldn't be able to do yoga. I wouldn't be able to move. I was not able any longer to hold my phone. I work from my phone. I was unable. There was that much pain. No amount of supplements, no amount of collagen, all of it was doing the deal. And I tried it for years. Okay, so 
I want you to get up every single day and right away shoot into toilet if that's what you need to do. I'm one of these people. The first thing I do is like, I'm off to toilet because I accumulated the liquids and I'm out and I'm doing that. Now, I don't do that right now, but I did that when I was creating my whole new life beyond my wildest dreams. Right after the toilet, before that old self fully kicked in, right back to my bed. Sometimes I would squeeze lemon, lemon water, few um, uh, supplements, or later I would take them, water with lemon, back to bed, because I was meditating in my bed, back in Scotland, in my home, back to bed and full on breathwork meditation. Full on breathwork meditation, an hour and a half. After that, when I'm in the feeling of the wish fulfilled, whatever it is that is telling me, I would dive into yoga, yoga, 15, 20, 30 minutes yoga movement. I would move my bodies and I would not just do bare minimum. I would push myself. So moving the body in the way works for me the best. The only way I was able, the only type of exercise I was ever able to stay consistent with is yoga, okay? And I'm talking about yoga with bird, yoga with Cassandra, Hatha yoga type. Hatha yoga type or flow, because for example, Andrea is doing a different yoga. We both will have been initiated to, um, oh, what is that? Kriya yoga. Kriya yoga, which which you cannot share what's happening inside. You, you're, you're vowing the secrecy, right? Andrea is still doing till day one, every single day or twice a day because it works for her, you know? Uh, me, within the first few months, was like, nah, nah, the stuff I'm doing is the stuff that is for me. I'm just meant to be a company for Andrea through that retreat and initiation, that's it. I was like, okay. Uh, so um, this is how I'm moving my body. We had um, people here in Mexico uh, being right next to us. I still did today, this morning, my morning meditation and my morning breath work while they were packing up their stuff and moving. I still, still decided I am not going to be held back by anything or anyone. So then dive into the movement, whatever is the movement. It could be for you even five minutes of jumping. Jumping is, is giant. Jumping, trampoline, bouncing, shaking your arms down, it's giant. Could be for you a 10 minute run. 10 minute run, like, <laughs> like go like crazy and then come back and for five minutes breathe deeply and, and feel into yourself who are you choosing to be today. Allow yourself also the night before to journal, okay? We will go to that in a moment. So do at the morning, run away to toilet as quickly as you can dive into breath work and meditation, dive into your uh, yoga and then dance like a crazy person. Dance like that person like, Bavani, you just won one million dollars. One million dollars. How would you jump and dance? It wouldn't be. No, it would be like, whoa, who cares? I don't have a bra on. Who cares? I don't have pants on. You're just like a crazy person. And that's what I did. And there were times when it was like, oh, my feminine wants to be expressed. Okay, let me dance the way, you know, like 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 my feminine wants to be expressed. Other times it was like a like a teenage boy. Whoop, 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 right? Whatever the energy. And that was expressed so healing. When you express the energy, you feel like expressing today. Instead of being labeled, no, you are a girl, you cannot be boyish. Or you're labeled, you're supposed to be this way or that way, okay? So, this is the full-on expression. And then I would make my food for all of the day, and I would drive to work, and in my drive time, I wouldn't be driving through the fastest route, I would be driving through the route around, through the fields, because I have special connection with nature, and I love it and fulfills me. And in that car, I would scream and shout, I'm absolutely amazing. And the music was on, I was putting full blast and I would be dancing, singing. My butt was never still. My butt was never still. My gut was always moving. And I would be dancing in my car and I don't care if they see me and I do this and I do that. And I would scream and shout, I'm absolutely amazing. I'm absolutely amazing. Why? Because it's a, the stuff I learned from the past about me. I believed I am worthless. So the affirmation I chose for myself was against my deepest conditioning that was holding me back, okay? And I would get to work and I would be right away in the zone. I knew it over there that I cannot be this 
high, high person because it scares them. So uh, it was about being inside. So now the energy goes on the inside. I'm just walking in that energy, being that energy. But I'm not going to my coworkers saying, what? I'm so grateful I'm alive. No, I'm, no, it scared the shit out of them. My high frequency scared them big time. Okay, that's not what they were vibing on. That doesn't mean go and lower, dim your light next to other people. No, be it inside. Be it inside 24-7. And you're just like, thank you. Thank you, it happened. Thank you, it happened. Thank you, it happened. Woohoo! Thank you, it happened. And something moves you out of your state, run into toilet. No one can tell you you cannot go to toilet. Run into toilet, pretend even you have diarrhea. I did it many times. Seriously. Someone came in with mass into the room, massive complaining, massive toxicity. I'm like, oh my God, I got to go to the toilet. Boop. That's it. I no longer people pleased. My mission was number one, not what they will think of me. And I was risking no one identifying with me. And they didn't. I was risking no one liking me. And they didn't. I was risking feeling alone and on my own on that mission. And that's what it was until I decided that it doesn't have to be like that any longer. But that's for another time. Go to toilet and go and do your breath and self-regulate yourself. Remember how free do you want to be? What are you creating? Are you actually have? If you have this crystal clear clarity done based on day one journaling, you will bring it right out. <gasps> oh my God, I just dimmed my light because they are sad. So I became sad too. No, 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 no. You can be sad, full on respect. I love you. I appreciate you. I will be happy. Okay. And stay my energy and higher. Remember one thing. Your environment is more powerful than your willpower. So if you are not actively connected with a group of people or a person who is of higher frequency, who did what you desire to do, who is actively doing this work, your environment would pull you down. You stand no chance. You stand no chance. Why Dr. Joe Dispenza's students get their results on the retreat? They're surrounded by three and a half thousand people who do it, not by one, just two. Okay? And we have this wounded perception we're supposed to do it on our own. Oh, God forbid me investing in myself. No. <laughs> You guys know an entirely different story. You constantly invest into yourself. And that's why you are where you are. That's why you're up leveling the way you're up leveling. That's why you are stepping into your boldness and amazingness all the time. So if you want to move a giant block within your body and within your life energetically, go and do over educate yourself with Dr. Mindy Pels or someone else about water fasting or an intermittent fasting. Or maybe maybe build up towards that three day fast, but three day fast is where you release autophagy kicks in your natural system that cleans you and your body out of cancer cells, out of parasites, lots of things. It's challenging. It's not easy. It's very challenging for me, but I still did it a few times, and I'm still doing every month, whether it's a day or two or three. I'm still doing it every month. So allow yourself to go bigger. And throughout the day, if you can make 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes meditation, do it. Because it's going to change your life to reconnect with that energy. Another action, if you desire to activate your medical maker abilities to the core and keep on going deeper and bigger, at the end of the day, process your day. Look at yourself from a place of love, compassion, but be honest. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I was jealous about someone or I was resenting someone or I just didn't take care of myself. And then I shoveled my anger on someone right whatever it is and learn from it oh wow how can i prevent from doing that now let me go and apologize to them first but then how can i prevent this from happening in the future okay what if i will give myself a little bit more time at the morning or a little bit more time in the day when i just close my eyes and connect and reset my nervous system okay how what would happen if i would now starting to go to bed an hour earlier and i would no longer scroll before the bed at least one hour 
right? Just stuff like that. Your body, you already know. I don't have to tell you this stuff. You already know. But go before you go to sleep, before your nighttime meditation, go and process your day. How did I done today? Where did I fall from grace? Oh, I overate. Why did I overate? Your body will tell you there is an emotion stored there and you are not feeling it. So you're pushing it down with the food. Okay. I think it's time to have a one day water fast. Okay. Don't do it if you're not educated on it. I over-educated myself and I'm tuning in my body and I will still do things differently because my body tells me then she was studying. Okay. Because I developed through the years, this really high sensitivity and connection with my body. So I get to feel and hear and see things there. And when you process your day at the end of the day, journal it out, journal what no longer belongs to you, journal what you're no longer willing to do and be and feel, journal then how amazingly you did. Always, always, always praise yourself like you're the most beautiful flower in a whole wide world. If you won't do it for yourself, no one else will do it for you. And universe always says yes always responds to you the way you treat you okay so start treating yourself like a big 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 deal big 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 deal process your day process how amazingly you did acknowledge yourself how far you came and then who are you choosing to be the next day and write down your thoughts feelings and emotions and actions who are you choosing to be today and do things in a different way. Watch a different show. Drive to the work or to the shop in a different route. Go and walk instead of driving. Some of you are doing that already. Do things in a different way. Wear different clothing. Wear things in a different way. Learn something new or just watch something pleasurable, but something different that you would usually normally watch. Do things in a different way and allow them to spark up even more of your, more of your, uh, uh, like a, like a childlike joy. So like yesterday I watched like an interview with an actress and I'm like, oh my God, she's just a pure genius. I'm like, what? how when the last time I watched something totally different? Oh yeah, two weeks ago, right? And I'm like, oh my God, how two weeks without watching something entirely different than you. So that tells me like clearly like, oh, this is the thing I need to watch in myself. You know, where I'm getting a little bit stagnant. Okay. Okay. So I believe this is it. I'm drawing out. I believe this is it. So what we are going to do now, if there's someone who has a question, ask me a question, or there's something you want me to coach you on, put your hand up, unmute yourself, and we are kicking into the alchemy session. Nothing to be afraid of. Um, I'm going to stay remaining recording just my face, just my screen. Um, this is all about no shame, no guilt, no condemnation, no criticism. This is just about reaching another level of love. Yes, hello, Elisa. I have a question and uh, how, I mean, if I go into making miracles, um, there's always this sort of confusion in, inside myself. Uh, shall I make a time where I expect this to happen or shall I just wait until it's happening? Um yeah. Mm, I understand. Because... I fully, fully understand. Yeah. So this is still operating where you, Neville Goddard calls it, think of it instead of think from it. Okay. So this is still the distance between you and it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is still distance. Should I give it three days? Should I give it three minutes? Should I wait for it? This is still you not being it. It is not done. This is you still waiting for it to be done. So this goes back to what I was talking about maybe half an hour ago. Does that make sense? Because this is the part I'm, I'm noticing is the most challenging for people to understand. Um, no, I do understand actually. Okay. 
But okay. because uh, sometimes I feel very much into this feeling, I am in it, I live it, and maybe then the next day I'm not. Ah, I cannot maintain so it. Yeah, so I feel like uh, because also of the, the long durance, I have done these things and I have think, thought about it. And sometimes I feel like I manifested, say, in things within three months. Uh -huh. And uh, okay. there are things which have never manifested, never. Okay, I would look into releasing entirely uh, the timelines mm -hmm. and be more in now moment. Because that time makes the difference. So if I'm going to ask you, for example, uh, are you going to make $1 million? Right? If you would ask me, Elisa, are you going to make $1 million? I would say yes, definitely. Like, come on, let's accumulate. I have like another 40 years of <laughs> shining very, very bright, if not more, right? Obviously. But if you will ask me, Elisa, will you make a $1 million in one year? In 2025, the pressure is on. Now we placed in time, which is an illusion, separation. Okay? So we placed an illusion and separation, which creates stress and pressure because I want to be there and I am not where I am now. Okay? So when now you mentioned consistency, Daniela, this is where I would go deeper into consistency. Mm -hmm. Consistency because... When the thing I desire is done, let's say three months ago, 100K came into my account and I checked my account yesterday, there is $57,000 left on my account, right? I'm not thinking, oh, I wonder when, when that 57,000 is going to show up in my account. Mm. It's, it's already done. It's already done. So this is where you go deeper into feeling instead of thinking about it. So you feel the wish fulfilled. You are walking, breathing, and living consistency in it. So you know how to do it. You know very well how to do it. We're working on it. You know how to do it. Now it's about consistency that you are in it all the time. So now the real work is about what is the thing that gets me out of that state? What is the hidden pleasure without behind some low frequency emotion that I still didn't reach to, that I still didn't look into deep enough to see that gets me out of staying consistent and keep on feeling more and more and more joyous, more and more mm -hmm. joyous with time. Okay. So that comes with deepening your present moment, deepening your present moment in your breath work and in your meditation first, and then taking that into your day. So, What's going on? This is what I would guide you into reading the power of now. This is what I would guide you into just mastering the power of now all the time, every single day, at least, I don't know, 10, 20 pages and just focus fully on this now moment and mastering more and more what gets you out of this now moment. The habitual thought comes in. I wonder when it's going to happen. You're like, nah, it only happens in now moment. In that moment, or what does it feel like in my body when it's already done? Okay, let me master juicing that energy, feeling that energy flowing through me, being that energy, acting from it. You no longer have to go and get it, but you still take actions because you are sustaining yourself and your business. So you still will be posting daily. You still will be arranging shows with your paintings. You still will be doing things while simultaneously the flow is flowing. The flow is flowing, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. tells, what I'm reading from this share, Daniela, is like a part of you, unconscious part of you waits for, this is what I'm reading from the energy, a part, unconscious part of you waits for momentum. <gasps> Boom, it's happening, it's here, it's happening, now it's flowing, now it's flowing. Yeah, the thing is that we create momentum, we don't wait for it. It doesn't happen to us. We create the momentum. We create the momentum. When the last time you done three day water fast? Um, long time ago. I do okay. intermittent fasting. Okay. How do you and, feel about uh, doing it? Doing it very soon, like very very soon. Um. Yeah, I could. I could. Okay. I would 
so for me, three days and then takes about two days or three to recover. So let's say a week, a week, right? And then level up, max out on your actions and the actions potency. So you are a, uh, you are a generator. So you have, mm -hmm. you can generate energy. So you mm -hmm. are good at generating momentum. <gasps> Let's spike it up. Okay. Now, why am I talking about water fasting? Because if there is a habitual tendency to suffering, that's addiction to suffering. So when you schedule the time for suffering in those three days, then all the other days of the month, the suffering doesn't creep in this way. Does that make sense? Or if it creeps in, you have better awareness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I do truly believe every single one of human in the whole wide world is addicted to these lower energies. That's just what we were made to be in duality. So now when you can realize Oh, wow, I'm actually addicted to suffering. I'm actually addicted to being a victim. I'm actually addicted to go back to these lows. Because these highs, when you're in these highs, it feels amazing, right? But you're going to the low because there is a different heat and pleasure over there. So it's an addiction, right? So when you schedule time for suffering, then the time when suffering has no place for it, it's easy to say, nope. Three days ago, I did three-day water fast. That was your time for suffering. Now, you've got to wait for another three-day water fast. Mm -hmm. That's it. Uh, who talks about it? Oh, my God, that guy with the book. You read it. Uh, the last throw to me easily. And the Dan. He talked about the worry yes. and doubt. Yeah. No, no. 15 minutes at the morning. That's it. Then on the afternoon, the worry and doubt are in. He's like, nah, -uh. you've got 15 minutes at the morning to bug me with doubt and worry. Now I'm in joy. It's already done. I'm like flying high, right? The mm -hmm. same it is with that. That's exactly the same. When I was doing, and I was struggling so much with that fast, uh, I remember Divine told me, you have to do it, Elisa, because you're so, you've had so much suffering in your life that if you don't schedule time for the suffering to express itself and lose out and come through the surface and out, because that's what's happening, it's going to be creeping in on any other day. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is what I would look into. And then I would look into mastering your present moment and staying in that present moment in the wish fulfilled. In the wish fulfilled. Is that helpful? Yeah, it is. It is. Okay. How, how that makes you feel inside? Do you feel like you have a plan of action? Okay, okay, I'm yeah. going for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, especially for for diving low again. Sometimes just one thought is enough yeah. to take yeah. me down, you know. And yeah. then I try to get up again, but it's going down and down. And it's like, yeah, shit. Yeah. It's, so yeah, it's so fast and it's so month, Oh, sorry about that. Sorry about that. You were saying. Yeah, I just forgot. <laughs> Okay. 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 So when you schedule once a month, okay, I'm doing two, three, two, three, maybe four day water fast. And that's when the suffering and the low stuff can come in through. But the thing is, you know how to process emotions. You, mm -hmm. you're inside of all of the programs. You know how to process emotions. You know yeah, how but to still, sit with it. Ex but still, because still, I, I, there is this, it's like, like I'm glued to it. I'm glued to this. It's incredible. And I try to get out of it, and I feel like it's almost impossible. And it takes okay. time, and then slowly I can get out of it. Remember, Daniela, it's not about getting out of it. It's about feeling it deeper. It doesn't want you to get out of it because it has to be felt deeper. So now it isn't about getting out of it faster. It's about faster feeling it deeper and realizing I am not it. So now the aspect of mastering that I am not it, but I allow myself to feel it deeply, fully, and I allow it to be this. I allow it to do this with me. And simultaneously doesn't define me. I am joyful, joyous energy. Like that's how my body feels. That's how my emotions are. Right now, 
and I still will deliver to you the best possible coaching ever. Because to do going so deep every single time, I've practiced feeling it deeper and more than ever before. It comes back again. It means it comes back from a deeper level. So that requires me a bigger amount of presence with it. Not, okay, let me just shoot out of it. Okay? So you will not shoot out of it until it is fully processed. Processed, digested, and released. So that's when it's need to go deeper. Okay, bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Let's remember that emotions, before they can be released, they first have to be felt, seen, and heard. Oh, that's another form of expression. Heard. What is the sound of it? Ugh. It's like <laughs> an old fart, you know? An old, some grumpy demon, you know? Okay, let's feel it. Let's release it. Let's feel it. Let's go fully deeply in. Let's go. Unlimited amount of time. As long as it's going to take. Okay? Instead of, no, no, let me get out. Let me get out. Let, let me feel the joy. Let me feel the happiness of my wish fulfilled. My feeling of the wish fulfilled contains me feeling every time deeper levels of all the emotions. But I'm not them. I'm not the guilt and shame that I was blessed with through all my childhood. And that's okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I would go deeper into when that happens, feeling it, remember you are not it. Remember your wholeness, remember your light and feel that tiny little horrible emotion. We call it horrible, but it isn't. That it just comes from a deeper level. And then, then you naturally, naturally without trying, you shoot out to a higher frequency because you just dropped something heavy. Like going up to the surface when you were under the water. Yeah. So I would go and focus on that. You have access to emotional intelligence habit program. I would go and watch it again. I would go and watch it again. Either all of it, binge it, all of it, do it in a week. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. And then go deeper. This is exactly what I mastered right before I manifested this whole new life. When I realize I can hold it for two, three days, but not for four or five. And then I was like, okay, what is it? For me, it was unworthiness. And every time I create something bigger and deeper, which emotion do you think I'm dealing with from a deeper levels? Unworthiness. And I'm dealing with it. Sometimes it's a moment. Other times it's three, four, five days. And then I can fully fully receive the next level I have just created and manifested. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're so welcome. Thank you. I appreciate you. Yeah. I appreciate you too. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bhavani, would you like to come in? I think my question was pretty similar as well. So I think I got my answers. Awesome. Sustaining the <clears throat> wish fulfilled. So yeah, I think you answered my question in the process. Okay. Amazing. Awesome. Awesome. Is there anything you you feel challenged with and you would like to receive some support right now? That's your opportunity if you would like that. I guess the certainty about um, it, uh, choices I make in my career or maybe now I'm in a place or crossroad of wanting to make a change, but... Yeah. I guess with change always comes fear and I guess I'm in while I'm trying to make the change I'm trying to get some sort of certainty that this is the best decision for me but I don't know does that mean you know 
getting a clear sign from the universe or do I go in and, you know, in tune to my heart and be sure that this is what I should be doing. I so, yeah, I'm not, yeah. yeah. Okay, would you like to, would you like some feedback on it or you just, you just yeah. wanted to share, be heard? Oh, uh, yeah, I, I would appreciate the feedback. <laughs> yeah, 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 I totally understand. I was there also and you see the sign from universe, it, it's within you, it's not outside of you, okay? So the knowing what is the best for you to do is already within you. The only thing to hear that clearly is to release that part of you, even if it is just for a moment, but release that part of you that tells you that you have to know if this is the right choice. The truth is, look back at your past and bring in example. Did you ever make any decision that it was bad? Did you ever make any decision that it was wrong, bad, not for you, created chaos? Did you ever did that? Because I did like, oh, I, I went crazy on this one in this life. <laughs> Did you ever made a decision that you would call back in yeah. the day or now that it's wrong? Yeah, retrospectively, things are clearer in life. Okay, so if you ever did that, did you ever, right, you made something wrong, did you ever went back and made that decision that you used to perceive as wrong, as something that created you and it's a blessing and you turn it into a blessing? Did you? Yeah, I did. There you go. So it doesn't matter if the decision you will make is right or wrong. If you are truly deeply, madly in love with yourself and your journey, it doesn't matter if it's right or wrong. You will turn it into your biggest blessing. You will choose to be victorious. You will choose. I talk about it in Victorious Masterclass. You will choose to be victorious in all of it. So it isn't actually about, now remember eclipse is a time when people make big decisions. This is where people, you know, die. This is where people leave this plane. This is where people come into this plane. This is where people divorce. This is where people get married. This is where big things happen. So it's normal and natural that you feel the pull or maybe like a little push, do it, do, do something, do something, move, 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 whatever it is. Because this energy right now is supportive to make a move. What I would mm -hmm. do first, if you will be working with me on one-on-one -on -one or inside of live program, we would be focusing all in reconnecting you with your knowing. All in reconnecting you with listening to that above and beyond that. Not make any decisions until you, unless like, I don't know, someone tells you, you have to make a decision by tomorrow. Then just make any decision and you will make the best out of it, whatever that decision is, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but we, what we would work, we would work on you reconnecting you with you. And that practice that it was yesterday, that's a phenomenal practice to do every single day. Do it every mm -hmm. single day, reconnect you deeper with you and then create every single, every single day whether you're sitting on the afternoon with a cup of chamomile tea and a journal or a gentle music, whichever music you like, and you just reconnect deeper with you. You just fantasize. Fantasize like that teenage girl. Oh, if I would be grow up, I would wear this dress and I would walk there and I would do this, I would do that, whatever was for you, okay? And then reconnect with that version of you that doesn't feel limits. Reconnect with that version of you that just sits and fantasizes and start taking that into another level each day and feel it like you're already doing it and act on it. That's when you will be reconnecting, bzz, 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 connection will be with your intuition. And you will be like, oh, wow, I really want to buy myself flowers. I'm doing it, doing it. I'm so much joy fun, right? You no longer, is it the right decision? Is it the wrong decision? Should I use this money for something else? If I'm buying myself red flowers, then then how will I manifest a man who's buying them for me, right? All of that goes on the side. The only thing matters is the joy in this present moment. The joy in this present moment. And that's how you learn to trust you, your body, 
your feeling, not what your conditioned mind tells you. Because your conditioned mind is someone else's fear. It's not yours. It isn't yeah. you. It isn't you. You know, and it's okay. Trust me, from a person who shifted from nine to five into that, it's okay. And I work with many women who came to me, Elisa, who are in nine to five, big positions like you, and they are not quitting nine to five. They're building up their business behind. So they use all of their afternoons and their weekends to build that business and the life that they desire. Okay. For everyone is different. Everyone is different. I, me personally, I needed to shoot it from out to another period. That was me. I needed to make that crashing jump. My heart led me. I was flying high on a low frequency energy. Okay. If someone has an fear around it, I would say it absolutely not. Right. Don't jump like that. But what holds you back? Ask yourself question. What holds me back from being in my nine to five and creating that soul path that I desire to be in, right? And start to see, mm, maybe I can reduce hours here. I still can sustain myself. So there's no pressure on that new business to provide me and pay for my bills, okay? Some people have a beautiful uh, benefit of having some giant savings uh, and being able to live from it while they're building business. So there is no pressure on the business, on the clients, on the viewers, come and pay me because I don't know what am I going to eat tomorrow, you know? Uh, uh, all day water fast again, <laughs> you know? <Nah>. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's about creating an environment inside of you and around you that makes it safe for you to jump into the unknown without drowning, mm -hmm. okay? It's a different mm -hmm. story if I'm throwing you in the middle of the ocean, full of sharks. Okay, Bavani, learn how to swim, right? It's a different story. Okay, let's let's make some moves in the pool while I'm holding you and you have this vest that is going to keep you safe. And then, okay, we did that for three days. Now we're moving into ocean close to the beach when there is a net separating sharks. Okay, I'm talking about Bahamas. Bahamas have lots of sharks, right? We're in Bahamas. Now... We are swimming with you for a week over there. And now, after you master that, now we are moving into a deep deep ocean. Now I'm dropping you into the deep ocean and I have a stick, like this stick with electric that, you know, gets the sharks away, you know, makes them scared and they run away. Does that make sense? I do. Yeah, yeah. And with, with, with big decisions like that, Bavani, it is very loving to yourself to receive continuous, consistent support with that kind of decisions, with that kind of way of stepping big into your whole next level, okay? Lots of people think, if I'm in this and something doesn't work, going back to nine to five, or it's, it's something shameful, it isn't. It isn't, you know? It's, it's okay to jump all in and then realize, oh wow, it was a little bit too early, I'm going to go back to this workplace or different workplace. I'm going to work some hours while simultaneously I'm building. Other people are like, heck no, I didn't supposed to be in that environment. All of my energy is supposed to go into this specific thing that I'm building as my soul path. So for everyone is entirely different. And honoring where you are at, honoring that we all require support and help is going to here uh, help you big time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. is that helpful thank yeah very really. thanks thank you you're welcome you're welcome that was beautiful thank you for sharing everything you did thanks so much awesome awesome okay loves thank you so much we're gonna close that and before we will close i'm gonna share with you and everyone who's watching this on repeat that as a massive gratitude and and and, and for us being all here together and creating something beautiful I'm going to invite all of you to share in your stories or with your friends or in your Facebook this masterclass. It is open. It is out there on YouTube. You have the link to the playlist. Share that somewhere if you can, if you believe someone else would benefit from it. And also what I am doing is a spring bundle that I'm going to share if someone who's watching this right now 
life or on repeat feels like I want to go deeper. I want to learn more. I want more spiritual tools in my spiritual tool belt so I can allow myself to have all of the tools required for making that beautiful dinner aka your wish fulfilled. Stepping into the next level of you that has this relationship. The next level of you that's already in your purpose work that it's flooding you with abundance, love, with fulfillment. If you desire to go deeper and learn more, how to to the core regulate your nervous system so you're no longer acting from survival and acting from fear, but you're acting from your knowing and your heart. If you desire to truly master how to process, feel, and truly release your emotions, that is your opportunity. I have put together three signature programs of mine that they are absolutely revolutionary. This is a reset and rise up program, which is a full on nervous system restoration program that you can go through on repeat and use these tools for the rest of your life and keep up leveling with your nervous system, which is releasing more and more fear, trauma, limitations out of your body and opening up to your deeper, bigger knowing. This is where you become limitless. This is where more and more these limitations are being released and more and more of your connection with your body, with your intuition steps in. This is where more and more safety, security, and love you are able to hold in your body. Now, another, now this program alone, just to enter it, is $555. So I'm just going to put this on the screen. Uh, nervous system regulation program. This one is 555, okay? Now, uh, another part of the bundle, which is three programs, it is emotional intelligence hybrid program, okay? This is the program, and Daniela, you have been in all of them, so you can tell us in the comments which one you like the most, which one was the most impactful for you. Um, now, emotional intelligence hybrid program, this program is the entry of the program is seven 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 hundred seventy seven dollars. This is the program that teaches you how to master your emotions, how to no longer be a victim of your emotions that pull you down and out. That's why I suggested to Daniela to go again through emotional intelligence because she went so far with this program and they work with it together in one on one. And this is the program that it's brought so many shifts in members of this program lives. It was so transformational. The program number three that I'm going to add it here is a master manifestor. And this program and entry to this program is $1,011. Now, this is the program that outlines for you step by step in a very potent way, how to manifest, how to manifest everything and anything you desire. It's just science. It's purely following the plan of action and doing it. This is the program that unexpected results came out at the end for the members. And three of these programs together, I believe it's 2443, which is $2,443. For the next 24 hours, you get to get this bundle, a spring bundle for $333. You are saving over $2,000 and the bundle, this specific bundle and absolutely is done. It's not going to be for this price, 33 within 24 hours. So tomorrow, 12 o'clock my time, which is California time, the bundle is over. Then the price goes up to 555 for the next three days and then it is over. <laughs> the spring cleaning comes in like a little tornado, takes it all the debris out of the way and leaves you with peace and ease. If you feel like this is your time, you want to go deeper, send me a private message. Within 24 hours from now on, you get the TTT bundle. The spring bundle goes into 555 after that for next three days, and then we are done. Then you can enter each of these programs together or separately, but for the regular price, which is $2,443, which is no brainer. Daniela says, I needed all of them, to be honest. <laughs> uh, you grew so much, Daniela. This is incredible. 
Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Thank you for being the part of this phenomenal masterclass. Thank you for going all in, creating miracles by being you, the most authentic version of you. And I'm urging you as an energy, whether you're getting bundle or not, it doesn't matter. I am urging you to show up for yourself like never before. Make this masterclass like the only tool you have ever stepped into and go all crazy about it. I'm urging you also to send me private message on Instagram. How is it going for you? How did you felt it? How did you receive it? How are you applying the actions? Let me know what are the results. You are so welcome. Thank you for being here. I will see you on the next one, whenever is the next one. I will see you on Instagram. I will see you every day in my stories because this is where my heart is at. Unless I'm taking a break, holiday or a rest and then you will still able to just re-watch whatever it is there. I love you. I appreciate you and I will see you soon.